Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole, or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweatbox. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Whee! Life troubling your digestion? Reality blocking your passages? Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. Hey, that's that personal color spectrum book. Self-help for the helplessly selfish. Perfect! I'll take two. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. No comment. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Yoo-hoo! Tiny hoodlums! Leave the cheese by the hole! When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never gonna look at again? Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case particularly gruesome. Two thousand two was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Remember our motorcycle trip through the Midwest? Just you, me, and the authorities from seven states. But those were quiet at times. One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out! I'm saving it for a science experiment! You bet, little buddy. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. No dice. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Whee! Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me! Which is why I haven't tried it. Aha! Oh, there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed.
Remember our trip to the moon, Max? Like cottage cheese through a strainer, Sam. You continue to baffle me, little pal. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Let me just fiddle with the reception here. Put it back, Sam! Put it back! There. That fixed it. Expel your troubles with Emetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness, and separate your bliss. I think I've seen this. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Hey, Max. When is it, Sam? You bought all that cheese and not one block of Swiss? I don't like Swiss. It's got holes in it. You get less for your money. Who do you think that was on the phone? Ooh, maybe it was the governor calling about my plan to secede from the Union. Does it feel drafty in here to you? Hey, you're the one with clothes on. Let's get to work. I couldn't agree more! Some say Jesse lost that hand in a bowling accident. No comment. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. We'd really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal.
I'd rather punch other things. Take that, you law-breaking dairy products! Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. Voila! Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. We've met your demands, we got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Help me help you, Jimmy. What the heck is that supposed to mean? I have no idea, but it always sounds good on TV. about ready to wring your scrawny, trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about... Cat Stevens! Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Amateurs. Hand over the phone or I'll make you lick my German crusted palms. Yeah, yeah, I've licked worse. Like what? You don't even want to know. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Can I go now? Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm shaking like bacon here, amateurs. Ever had your peeled epidermis inflated like a party balloon? Kid stuff. Hey, Dogface, your partner's giving me a headache. You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Light's too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <coughs> ah, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! 
Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance! Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. Say there, unfashionably dressed street urchin. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Yowzers, you are one ugly kid. Hey, I know you. Oh, that's right. You're one of the lovable scamps from that old TV show about the singing soda jerks. It's called the Soda Poppers. And the 70s are not old. Specs, it's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Excuse us, we've got important things to do. Don't we all? Max, you've got the TV schedule memorized. Weren't the soda poppers going to be featured on one of those grim celebrity tell-alls today? Oh yeah, on channel 173, the Child Star Expose Network, which we only get when it's convenient. <laughs> 